Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, back to do a contest entry video into the one and only uh, Jeff Witcher over at Jeff Witcher's Vinyl Destination. He's celebrating actually a pretty cool milestone, which is him hitting 3,000 subs, uh, which is always a very, very awesome thing to do. And first and foremost, Jeff, congrats on hitting that man. Um, every single sub is well deserved. Uh, maybe, maybe for those of you that haven't seen his channel before, been very familiar with it. Um, you know, he does a lot of the regular stuff in the VC, like like we do with showing new stuff and just talking about music and that type of thing. But I think kind of his special niche has been the the deep dives that he does on his channel, where he'll go into a, a band or a catalog or just maybe a specific album or something like that. And just like it says, he'll do just a very kind of deep, in-depth dive on that particular album or, uh, or whatever, um, whatever subject he's doing on that day. And so uh, it's really, really cool stuff. Uh, to me, it always comes across as kind of a, a nice short podcast is, is, the, is the way that I've always taken in his channel. Uh, as I've always told him, uh, you know, I, I typically listen to a lot of his videos when I'm driving for work. Because like I said, with the deep dive stuff, it's just all this cool stuff that you can catch. And uh, just an awesome guy, awesome channel. So go to that link I left down below and jump on board and you definitely won't regret it. So... Uh, with Jeff celebrating his 3,000 subs, he's kind of doing a three thing. So he asked us to show three albums that we haven't shown in the VC before and try to show them on three different formats. So he kept it kind of pretty simple. And, uh, and of course, you know, I've been in the VC since like, they're doing videos, I should say, since like 2008. It's like, you know, pushing like 15 years or whatever now. So uh, I've shown a lot of my stuff. So I had to kind of think about it for a while. But I think these are three things I haven't shown in the VC before. And I'll start off with the vinyl here. And the first one is, sorry, I try to work the glare out there, is Elvis. This is Gold Record, volume number five. And um, I know this is one I haven't shown yet. And because, number one, I haven't had a lot of Elvis records, or really, outside of maybe one greatest hits, I haven't had an Elvis album in I don't know how long. Because I've never been a gigantic Elvis fan at all. Uh, and I've always, of course, appreciated what he did and what he brought to the world in the history of rock and roll. I mean, you, you can't deny that. But uh, just as far as a fan of him, his music and all of that, never really cared about it until a while ago when I went to Graceland for the first time, the last time I was down in Memphis. And I don't know what it was, but something about going into Elvis's world and hearing the history and all of that. And, you know, I'd seen the movie prior, which I thought the movie was was kind of cool. But something about going to Graceland just flipped some switches that made me understand uh, more about Elvis. And I'll never forget, it's like leaving there, I could not get the song Suspicious Mind off of, out of my head. Like, I just kept humming that song and kept singing it and just became a tremendous fan of it. Like, it's... Like instantly after visiting Graceland. And so I finally found it on vinyl, which was nice, which is on this Elvis Gold record, uh, again, volume five. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Graceland was an awesome, awesome experience and literally turned me into an Elvis fan after, you know, 40 plus years of not caring about Elvis whatsoever. So really, really cool stuff. And and yeah, I try to do this, kind of give you an idea about the track list in case you want to, in case you're curious, I'm going to get the glare out of there. So there you go. But but yeah, I mean, Suspicious Mind just became one of my absolute favorite songs overnight, which is kind of cool. So next, uh, let's go with cassettes. And this is one I might have shown years and years ago, but I don't think I did. But uh, we got a little in sync here, <laughs> which is kind of, <laughs> uh, I know probably not what you were expecting, right? But uh, yeah, this is in sync. Uh, you know, on th this, this album, they had uh, what was kind of the big hit off of this? Uh, tearing Up My Heart, I guess, was kind of the big hit off of this. And I thought I would show this one, too, just because, you know, not only is it in sync, but the fact that it came in this very interesting case that was almost like a pack of cigarettes, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's like, good job, guys. W way to keep the kids off the off the druggies. You know, get them started with cigarettes. But, uh, but yeah, so I thought that was kind of a fun one to show. don't think I've shown that one before. Um... I'm not a gigantic fan of NSYNC, like especially them as a group in general. There are specific songs that I like, but that was about it. But uh, I've always been a big fan of Justin Timberlake, though. Uh, he's just one of those guys that I've always kind of felt like 
um, the way he is, I always feel like where he is as a celebrity and where he is as an individual is not very far off. And there, there's not a lot of celebrities that I feel that way about. Um, and when I do get a, I, I can be completely wrong, of course, but when I do get that feeling from a celebrity, I tend to have a little more respect for him, especially if they seem to be kind of, you know, nice, cool, happy-go-lucky type of people or whatever. So guys like Justin Timberlake gives me that type of vibe. Um, Shaquille O'Neal's another one that gives me that type of vibe where it's like if they were celebrities or just, you know, an average Joe that worked with you down at the, the factory or whatever, they would kind of be the exact same people. Like, you know, Shaq would still be the big jokester and, and all that kind of stuff. And I, I, I love that about people um, when I get that feel. So anyway, that's in sync. And the last thing I'll show here, I might have shown this one again years ago, but I don't think I have. I think I showed the, the vinyl, uh, but not the CD. But this is Howlin' Wolf uh, Blues from Hell. Very cool three CD set, as you can see there. Uh, you know, 48 tracks on it, and just kind of, you know, some of Howlin' Wolf's greatest hits, all the things you would expect. Uh, you know, Smokestack, Lightning, Spoonful, just all the things that made him one of the absolute blues legends right there. So very cool three CD set, and that's one I don't think I've shown before. So uh, there you go, Jeff, man. Again, congrats on the 3,000 subs. Awesome achievement, and uh, we'll be ready to jump on 4,000 subs when we're ready to do that contest. All right, thanks, my friend. Have a good one, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.